Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Boone coming at you all with a brand new video, a brand new Supreme Drop List. This week is week seven. It's honestly looking about as good as Gonzaga in yesterday's national championship game. We'll to the <sighs> Yeah, no, that, that sucked ass. Um, yeah, I went to Gonzaga, if you guys did not know. We got smoked just like this drop list, man. And this drop list is smoking some crack because uh, we have a bunch of kind of mediocre items releasing, but we're still gonna cover it all, what you should go for, what you should definitely not go for. Believe me, you guys are gonna get some good roast today on some items because there's a few pieces dropping that I gotta like hold my nose to talk about, but there is still some resellable items. I'm gonna be going for a live cop, as you guys know, but I'm not gonna lie. I don't really want to wake up for this drop, you guys. I'm going to need to see some mother freaking likes if I'm going to cop these bricks on Thursday. So 700 likes. I got you guys on a live cop. A good one, too. Because y'all know me, man. If it's a brick week, I'm still going to find a way to spend like $500. So yeah, let's just hop into this week. By the way, you guys told me to do another video in this backdrop. So here we are. We got lovely plants, man. We got box logos sitting behind us. I'm actually going to be doing a box logo giveaway very soon. I just raffled this one off on my page, Seattle Select. I do a bunch of raffles and just sell all my supreme so go follow me man but let's get into this video so starting it off we have an unseen zippo it's the exact same zippo design we've received what like the last five zippo drops in a row um a, a zippo that says supreme this is getting tiring bro I, I am honestly so done with this design with zippos if you guys know the older supreme zippos them shits used to be immaculate man we had such a nice wide variety in designs like they weren't always the craziest or loudest i just loved the old Zippos they used to do and it really really feels like they have tanked the Zippo design. I mean it is a cute little green color. I yes I'm gonna cop it. I'm a fucking supreme simp. We all know that but uh, I'm just I'm tired of the exact same Zippo design. It's getting very dull but uh, yes this should be a pretty decent item to go for. I think last Zippo was only 48 retail which is actually a pretty good price so um, this is definitely like a multi-cart item everyone should secure if they go for this drop. I don't think stuff's gonna be flying too crazy this upcoming Thursday so so hopefully you guys can all acquire one. Um, definitely will be going for around $65, $70. So yes, I will be grabbing one of these. And this is a mock-up, by the way. So it could be different. It's probably not going to be different. It's probably going to be the same logo. But moving on, we have the Supreme Akai NPC Live. Uh, this is a pretty cool one, man. This is one of those accessories I'm actually really glad they did because it's extremely usable. This is the kind of accessory that a lot of people can actually use for their profession. Um, if you guys don't know what this is, it's pretty much like a live sampling drum kit where um, all of these little keys you can like assign a different noise to. And you can actually like make beats like little drum patterns and stuff with this machine. It's really cool. Um, and like this is just something that's actually kind of dope to say Supreme on it. This is a very weird comparison in, but this kind of reminds me to something like the Clippers where people could actually use this for their profession and it's like a crazy flex. So a lot of you are probably thinking brick because retail I'm hearing is going to be like 1200 to like 1400 something outrageous. I would guess 1498 You got no retails. Come on. We, we know the drill. Boon video. Never seen a retail in my freaking existence. But I could actually see these doing kind of decent, man. Like, I, it's not gonna be right away. Now, this certainly is gonna be an item you have to hold for a couple months. But I do think it's actually gonna age pretty nicely. There's plenty of big baller producers out there that probably would pay the money for this. I mean, it is a good machine at the end of the day. So a pretty damn cool accessory. Your boy Boone used to be a little SoundCloud rapper and I would have loved this back in the day. Nowadays, I'm just a brick YouTuber that cannot afford this trash. So um, I'm probably gonna be passing up on this. But again, not a first day flip item. Let's keep moving. Small box hooded sweatshirt. No, it's summer. Stop. No, like, nobody wants hoodies. Let's not even talk about it. Next up, this is a whole ass brick, but I just wanted to give it a quick time of day because this is a little cutie. The Gons logo crew neck. Um, we've seen them reusing this Gons logo many different times. Um, it's actually based off the blind skateboard logo, if you didn't know that. And this actually is based off of an older Supreme Gons crew neck that was honestly cooler than this. Had better colorways, but um, yeah, they decided to like one of one copy an older crew neck. I don't know why. Uh, I mean, it's cool and all, but I'm gonna be passing on this. It's definitely a brick. <sighs> Next up, man. This is probably top five worst items of the season right here. I was saying in my Discord, hey, shout them browser boys. Wanna be a browser boy? Bang, there's a fucking code. Go use that free week trial, but 
Uh, this is the Supreme Spain Special, man. Like, I'm actually embarrassed to even sit here and talk about this item. It just looks so stupid, man. I legitimately think Supreme ripped this off of Supreme Spain, so who knows? It could age pretty well, because Supreme Spain lawyer is going to be dropping a CND on Supreme. Like, hey, bro, that's our shitty-ass Supreme logo. Oh, my God, what is this, dog? Like, literally looks off the rack of any bootleg Supreme store you enter in the middle of China. Whoever designed this deserves to get, like, tombstone by the Undertaker through a uh, Supreme folding chair. This is just so disgusting. If it resells, I hate all of you. Like, I truly mean that in the bottom of my heart. If this shit resells Thursday, y'all have lost my faith in humanity, but yeah, um, horrible. Horrible, bro. So let's keep moving. Gon's logo beanie. This is actually one of my favorite items of the week. Nothing too crazy. It's a beanie. It's getting summer now, so it's not really gonna perform that well. Beanies do go down in warmer months, but um, I mean, it's a pretty cool item. Basic logo beanie. Loose gauge as well, so it should fit nice. If I had to choose a color, it's kind of hard to say. This Colors are not that great in my mind, but um, I'm digging the gray, digging the brown, the black and the purple. So I'd probably say brown, purple, and gray are the three best. I wish they did colored on the black, um, but yeah, not an essential or nothing. Definitely a multi-cart item. Should only be like 38 or so, 34. But moving on, we have a pretty interesting one, man. Now this is a jacket that I don't really care for. It's pretty basic, just like a Gore-Tex Supreme logo, but um, if it was the right season, this might have actually had a chance. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, the more I look at this light blue, man, I'm like, oh, that shit's kind of tasteful. Like, I actually do dig this color a lot, but unfortunately, we all know it's getting warm out, so I don't know why they're dropping Gore-Tex jackets right now, who knows, but um, I'm probably gonna avoid this. It being Gore-Tex, it's gonna be 300 plus, I would imagine, which is outrageous, um, but if you were to go pick one of these up, I kind of think the baby blue is actually the best color for this. I really do like it. That or the black, I would say, but um, this is going to be a hold until winter time. It's really not going to be doing too well with the warm season. Um, we got an Unseen Icons 5 panel. I'm sure it's going to be trash. Icons, maybe it'll have James JBS face on it. I would so fucking buy it if it did. Small box sweatpants. These are a brick. Let's go talk about these Gore-Tex pants. Again, they are Gore-Tex. It's going to be hella money, um, but these are super wearable, man. Um, black or blue again for these. I'm not even gonna bother. It's just, it's really not the right season for these items, man. I don't know why they're doing Gore-Tex right now, but Supreme never makes sense. Oh shit, bro, we got the booties. Come on, bro, we got my name in the item. These actually might have a chance of doing decent. The black color, the stone, that olive, those are all pretty nice colors. Even the baby blue, okay, you know what? This one is kind of growing on me a bit more. It's a reflective patch, so it's 3M. That's pretty cool, actually. I might multi-cart one of these just to get free shipping. I don't expect the moon, but um, I won't lie. This is a nice, decent summer item. The colors are actually pretty solid on this, so definitely go for a bigger size if you cop one. I actually think a lot of these colors have potential. I'd probably miss the red and orange, but all the other ones, man, I actually think are kind of decent. Um, might actually grab one of those, to be honest. I hadn't looked at those too much. World famous short sleeve top. We don't care about short sleeve tops on this channel. Uh, reflective dyed camp cap. I have to take a look at these. They've been doing some kind of mid camp caps lately. It's gonna be the black, if anything, but I don't know, man. I'm probably gonna skip these. They're probably gonna be like 54 because it's like dyed and reflective. I'm gonna pass though. Man, this week, this week sucks, dog. <laughs> this is definitely the worst week of the season without a doubt. I kind of want to miss the drop almost. I've been spending so much money on this brand lately. If y'all thought that fucking Supreme Spain top was bad, wait till you hear about the bleached velour polo. <sighs> This brand continues to hit all-time lows. Let me just start off by saying I'm so sorry if you like this item. Like, everyone can have their own opinions. Mine is that this is absolute horse shit, bro. Like, come on, dog. What is this? Who asked for a bleached velour long sleeve rugby from this brand, bro? I don't know. I don't see them. I don't know where they are. Some psychopath in some mental facility doing whippets. It's like I'm walking on sunshine. What? I don't know, bro. I just... This is so horrific, bro. Like, this could not have been made any worse. Velour, Missy. Nope. Rugby's not my favorite. Like, I'll give it a pass. Velour Rugby's mm. definitely not a go. Bleached Velour Rugby's. Get some help. Certainly not a go. And the colorways are trash, man. Like, why, why am I talking about this? I don't know. Someone probably likes it. I probably just ruined their fucking day. I'm sorry. But you ruined your chance at finding happiness in this world if you're gonna buy this. Like, it, I, kudos. You know, kudos to you. I buy plenty of ugly shit, so I'm not one to talk. Let's keep going. Um, this drop list is criminal, bro. I'm sorry. We just talked about this garbage for like, what, the last 10 minutes, and y'all got all of my favorite items of the week at the bottom of the drop list. Why do we do this every week, boys? These votes on this fucking page piss me off. So, 
finally we have made it to the Clayton Patterson collab. That's like the big collaboration of the week. Um, honestly, on the surface, I didn't know anything about Clayton Patterson. I'd never heard of him before. Um, Supreme posted a video, I think today, sort of like interviewing the dude. Actually seems like a pretty cool guy. He has like an insane hat collection. I wish I could buy off of him um, some of his like vintage hats he's created. He uses a lot of these skulls, he uses bones. Kind of those concepts on hats. Um, a lot of it hand drawn. Like this shit is so cool to me. Now maybe the pants are not my favorite. They're kind of loud. Like if I were to buy these, I'd probably do the blue or the black, but I don't even know if I'm going to. The fact that it's all over embroidered does make these a lot cooler in my mind, but they are a bit loud. I don't really like light stone wash like this. Um, so I might get a black pair for myself. I don't know about too much resale on these. Sometimes the denim does do pretty well from Supreme, but I think these are a bit loud. I think you can make 10 or 20 on top if you did multi-cart them for free shipping. Size 30 is always gonna sell out first, but I wouldn't really recommend those for resale. I'm just gonna real quick go over the other Clayton Patterson stuff before I talk about these horrendous Doc Martens, but um, we also have this Velvet MA1. This actually might have been cool if it wasn't Velvet. Like, I just, I can't do Velvet. Y'all heard me roast velour. Um, I think this is actually a pretty cool design. I know my boy Playboy Card, he's gotta cop one of these on his vampire shit, but um, I don't know, bro. I just, I'm not gonna be copping one. It was irreversible. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, still not gonna buy it, not gonna resell. We have the work shirt. This is probably the most boring item of the whole collab. I just don't care. I don't like the work shirt Supreme uses. The blanks are kind of garbage. But right here, man, is actually my favorite item of the week, the Clayton Patterson Skull 5 panels. Now, I've, I've seen some people in my Discord that were roasting these. I was kind of salty. I was butthurt a little bit because this is like actually pretty cool in my mind. This reminds me a shitload of those Sanchito Bones items my boy did. and. Those were actually like one of my favorite Supreme designs we've gotten in recent years. So I'm super excited for these hats. Um, this white color as well as the black by far are my favorites and I will be buying these for the personal. I hope y'all sleep. Um, it looks like it's all over embroidery, man. Like hopefully they're not too expensive. I love these though, man. I can't tell if the white or black I like more. Low key, I think the white is my favorite. I really would like to get both colors and I actually think these might end up aging really nicely. This is the type of item in my opinion. Um, people hate on and clown and then all of a sudden a couple months later it's like a hundred dollars. I've seen it happen way too many times. I am going to be trying to get one of these in a multi-cart. Before I tell you what my carts are going to be for this week, I want to just go in on these Doc Martens because these kind of got me messed up, man. I was actually really excited to hear we had a Doc Martin collab and I thought it was going to feature some of these skull patterns from the Clayton Patterson collab. I thought we were going to get like a little skull on the heel, which I would have been Primo with, bro. I would have definitely copped one. Um, this is a different uh, Doc Martin model than we usually see. I don't hate the model or anything, but I do hate just the lack of any creativity or design on these. It's just a basic Doc. The zebras are kind of cool, but it's like you wear that twice, maybe a whole year, if that. So um, I'm not gonna be buying these. They're gonna be Supreme collab prices for like no Supreme designing besides a stupid insole. These were a letdown in my opinion, man. I really think they could have done some cooler stuff. I actually really wanna get another pair of Docs. I already have a pair. This is not me just hating on Doc Martens. I actually was really excited to grab some of these, but uh, I'm gonna be passing. Were you actually gonna ask me if these are gonna resell, bro? Come on. Um, no, they're not going to. Uh, let's go talk about the full week though, what I'm gonna go for. Um, so currently I'm thinking I would like one of these skull panels without a doubt. I need one of these. I might even get a pair of pants cause like, I just, I don't make good monetary decisions. I'm not crazy about them. I could see them growing on me though. I'm probably gonna go for that black pair and then probably a Zippo as well. Maybe I'll throw in like a beanie cause I don't think any of this stuff's gonna really sell out too fast. Um, I'm undecided on this reflective patch boonie. I think this is the type of item it's gonna do really well out the gate for like a week or so and it's gonna come down a lot in price. So quick flip it if you get one. I might get one if, I, I don't know, if shit's just sitting on the site. But yeah, it's been your boy Boon. I'm sorry this week kind of sucked to be honest. Like. I I don't know, that's why I'm making you guys drop a like for me to do a live cop, because it is a cool release, but um, I could certainly sleep through it. I don't want to though, so please drop a like, man. Come on. I want to keep my live cop streak up, but uh, I just got to hold you guys hostage. Yeah, I'll see you guys this Thursday. Um, it should be a boring ass drop. I'm sorry, doc. I don't know what to say. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But you'll still see me waste a bunch of money, and it'll be fun for an unboxing, because there's actually some items I do want for myself. So yeah, I'll see y'all later. Spinner boy, boom. I hope you guys enjoyed. I do appreciate y'all for coming by on a brick week, man. I got my true soldiers watching up to this point in the video. So if you watched up to this point, be like, I don't know, Brickweek Boone or some shit. I don't know. I'll see y'all later though. I'm out. Peace.